Switching gears this morning, Ed, if there is one thing no mother should ever have to deal with, it is the loss of a child. But also if there's one thing that we've learned, especially in these last few months, it's that where there is darkness, we can often look to others to find some light. And Katie, in this case, the light takes the form of an organization of moms helping other moms heal. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps has how these moms are rising once again through their Buffalo Strong spirit. Suffering through trauma can be a lonely and isolating battle. I felt alone. I felt abandoned. I felt angry. I felt let down by the system. Um, and I felt defeated just as a mother. On April 25th of last year, Tanja Newkirk's son Daquan was shot and killed in front of her home on East Amherst Street in Buffalo. You lose a part of you. You know, um, that was my only child. More than a year later, she says she's healing and finding new reasons to smile. <laughs> Tondra credits the group She Rose Western New York with helping her in this journey. This has been a friendship, a sisterhood. I learned to reach out and say, yo, <laughs> I'm having a bad day and I just need, I need a voice. <laughs> Tamika Macklin started the group after her own daughter was murdered in 2013. And I wanted to teach other women, it's okay for them to heal and there are ways that they can heal. They have options. Now she's created a support network of hundreds of women and she's helping them cope with the isolation of COVID-19 and the emotions of the holiday season. I just started a virtual event. She Heals Academy and we take them through the healing process. But we welcome any woman that has dealt with a traumatic event. She also recently started the She Cares program, where she drops off a basket of gifts for one grieving mother each month. Um, we want to let them know that we're still thinking of them, they still matter, we still love them, we support them, and we're here for them. They're currently collecting donations for these baskets and accepting any women who need help healing. If Daquan was here, Daquan would tell me how proud he is of me of not giving up. He would say, yeah, you doing this, Mama Dukes. I'm proud of you, my Dukes. In Buffalo, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News. So amazing to hear these women helping one another through such a difficult thing. Taylor, thanks so much. More information on that on our website as well.